The big announcement is, you might have guessed it, that I'm... Good morning boys, you may notice since the last video I have completely changed up the hairstyle. It's now the uh, Wayne Lineker Apprentice Side Beef of Final Boss Catalytic Converter Stealing Special. I think it's pretty sick. And actually, speaking of uh, I Beef of Final Boss, I'm actually going to I Beef with the uh, lady in about, I think a week. I'm not doing the whole like, go and getting pissed up every single day and all of that. I feel like I'm like, somewhat too old for that. I know I'm only 21, call me boring, I don't care. I feel like I've done all the partying and all that Probably when I was like, between the ages of 16 to 18, I'd say. I've done my uh, fair share of dumb stuff, and um, now I'm just a boring old man, man. Don't get me wrong, I'll obviously still go out a little bit, maybe the old old beach, see Wayne Lineker, and all of that um, <laughs> I do want to have a good time at the end of the day. Oh, and um, also, the title of this video actually isn't clickbait. I'll tell you all about it in a minute, just so you know, I'm extremely excited. <laughs> We're um, off to train a lovely bit of upper. Oh, listen to this saucy, naughty little bitch. <clears throat> Got the uh, wonderful Apple Alpha Pre. Coke-eye on that mush. I want to keep the workout portion of this video very short because I know you want to hear the announcement, but I want to show you what I'm doing when I'm training. First off, Dumbbell press, obviously. Only uh, using 42 kilo dumbbells at the moment for my top sets of around seven or eight reps, but that is gonna increase as time goes on. I've only just started dumbbell pressing, all right? I've never really done it before. Um, T-bar rows, come on, absolutely love it, mate. And I wanted to show you this because, look, some might call this ego lifting because my uh, chest is coming off the pad a bit at the end reps, but you know what? That's fine. If it allows you to get a few extra reps at the end, do it, mate. And as well as that, I do partials at the end of most stuff. Um, so not only have I achieved failure, I've gone past it. It just makes me happy, all right? And this is another little thing I wanted to talk about. Um, Non-optimal movements. This is an optimal kind that pull downs aren't the best. <laughs> Look at the way I'm training, mate. You see my face? I'm fucking loving it. I'm training like a tank. And that's why I do them, because I love them. If you do a movement that you enjoy, you're gonna love it. And it's the same with the dumbbell lateral raises. Oh, they're not up to Shush! I'm really enjoying these. Really, really enjoying these at the moment. So I'm gonna do them. Come on. Um, dumbbell curls are another one I'm really enjoying at the moment. I've kind of gone back to basics, as you can see. I was doing the whole optimal um, JPG, slap my willy, bollocks, but back to basics, mate. I uh, enjoy training this way, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be done. <laughs> Finished off with some tricep rope pushdowns. Solid workout, mate. It is now the next day, and me and uh, my lady are going to go to this, um, what is it, a nature reserve animal park thing? I don't know, but basically, plan is to see some gorillas reunite myself with my family. I am essentially trying to get to the size of a gorilla, mate. Sometimes Izzy gets a bit wound up because I literally run around the room pretending to be a gorilla. How often? Once, this morning. All the time. Apparently, if you press this button and then put your foot down on the accelerator a couple times, it should... A magic fairy appears. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a magic, a magic fairy appears and opens the valves for the exhaust for the cold start. I really feel like we've picked the wrong day to do this. It's absolutely pissing it down. I'm wearing shorts and a f***ing t-shirt and I don't have a brolly or anything like that either. Or umbrella, not brolly. That's What's something that... A brolly is just like what a 40-year-old mum calls it. But then I feel like I'm a 40-year-old mum at heart anyway. Nah, I'm daddy, mate. Look at that, mate. Hello, man. Look, it is Bunda. That is literally me. That's me. Babe, is that not me? No, that is not you. That is me. I'm not being funny, but that is the physique that I would like to achieve. Like, bro literally eats grass, like some twigs and shit. It's proof that you can be vegan. You don't have to eat all this meat. Well, funnily enough, it's not, because I'm not a f***ing gorilla. He sits there, picks his nose all day, and manages to get that wham. It's genetics. It is genetics. Okay, he pull up. Okay, I pull up. Two years ago, I found out that reindeers are actually real. 
and I went to this Christmas barn and I was with Tara and my family and like my friends and I walked in and they and you know they have them like in pens they literally had them and I was like what the f because they I thought they flew yes they fly but why would they make a mixture of someone having a red nose and flying Obviously, I didn't think it was real. When you find out Santa's not real, you think all of it's fake, so. I thought they just stuck the antlers on a horse at first. A f***ing horse? <laughs> you mean a f***ing deer, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful bit of machinery. All right, I've kept you waiting for long enough. Uh, the big announcement is... You might have guessed it, that I'm sponsored by Gymshark now. If you told me in my Ziz Creatine Mogging beta days of the gym when I first started that one day I'd be sponsored by Gymshark, I would probably <laughs> to myself. Literally, Gymshark and the Gymshark athletes at the time and stuff like that was my biggest inspiration for not just starting the gym, but also starting social media as well. So, to now be one of these Gymshark people that made me actually start the gym in the first place is, I can't even describe it. The last couple of years have felt like a bit of a dream if I'm honest with you. I went from being a part-time mortgage advisor and working at Tesco as a delivery driver as well and just decided to make a few little TikToks. I remember I'd be sitting in my Tesco van, I'd posted a TikTok before I started my shift and then like I'd pull over and I'd be checking my TikTok, refreshing, being like, oh, please get views and all of this crap. Um, so suddenly, a year ago, being able to quit that stuff, barely, if I might add, I was barely, barely scraping by, um, even though I was living at home with my parents, and still am living with my parents, actually, because I quite enjoy living at home, not going to lie. But then, over the past year, it's gone absolutely crazy. The amount of support that you guys have shown me is stupid, and now I've got to the point where I'm sponsored by Gymshark. Literally my dream come true. Can't believe it, mate. Literally can't believe it. Thanks so much for the support that you're always showing me, boys. It is absolutely ridiculous. Cannot believe this has happened. That's all I can uh, say, if I'm completely honest. I love you, boys. And I will uh, see you in the next video.